Uh, welcome to this new video. In this video I want to compare the Huawei FreeBuds 3 against the Huawei FreeBuds 4. Of course design-wise, then sound-wise and also additional feature-wise. So let's get started. So here we can see the FreeBuds, the FreeBuds 3 on the left and the FreeBuds 4 on the right. The FreeBuds 3 came in two colors, white and dark or black. And the FreeBuds 4, at least in Europe, are only available in white and mystic silver. There is a black version in Asia as well. So I want to compare them a little bit and we start with the case. And what you can see here on the housing, if I put them uh, together, maybe you can see it, but it's a bit, a bit hard to see because of the dark being... And this way you cannot see it. Anyway, the FreeBuds 3 on the left has a larger housing with a 60.9 millimeter diameter and the FreeBuds 4 has a 58 millimeter diameter. So it's bigger also in terms of height. It is 21.8 uh, on the FreeBuds 3 and it is 21.2 uh, on the FreeBuds 4. So there you have the difference. This is not the only difference on the case. We have some other differences as well. One major different difference is that the FreeBuds 3 always have a Qi wireless charging coil in here, so you can wirelessly charge those FreeBuds. And this is not always the case in the FreeBuds 4. The first version that comes out or came out that I have here is the one without a wireless charging coil. I suspect that the one with the wireless charging coil might be a little bit bigger or heavier at least. And it will not have the charging coil here, but maybe on the other side because here we have an LED indicator light. And there we come to another difference. On the FreeBuds 3, we have two LED indicator lights. One at the bottom, as you can see here, and we have also one at the top. If you open it up, there you can see uh, your status of the FreeBuds. So if they're charged, if they're red, then they need to be charged. If they're yellow, then they have like the middle charge. And if they're green, they're fully charged. And on the FreeBuds 4, we only have one indicator light here in the middle. So if I open it up, it will light up, show you the status, in this case green. There's no other indicator light anywhere else. The flip mechanism is a little bit lighter than on the FreeBuds 3, but in general, both are very sturdy and without any big issues. The hinge me mechanism is almost the same. Uh, I heard some people said that the FreeBuds 3 case was a bit uh, flimsy. I don't have a flimsy FreeBuds 3 case, so I cannot uh, tell it. So it is basically the same quality. It's pretty good. We can see another difference at the back. We see the Huawei logo. It is a bit embossed in this area here on the FreeBuds 3. You can see it's going slightly a bit inside here. And here it looks just simply like printed upon the plastic bag. So maybe I can scratch it off one day, but uh, so for now it is holding up pretty nicely. And here it feels a bit more premium on the FreeBuds 3, I have to say, than on the FreeBuds 4. Maybe this will change with the uh, wireless charging version and uh, a different case. You can also see that I used the FreeBuds uh, 3 a little bit more. As you can see here, some scuffs around the um, housing itself, the case. Another thing that we see on both cases is the connection button. So we have a slight button here on the FreeBuds 3 and on the same position we have also a button here on the FreeBuds 4. I'm not sure if you can see it too good. And it's really hard to show it to you. There we go, there's the button on the FreeBuds 4 case as well. You can use it for manually pairing if you use Huawei phones. You don't have to press the button, you just simply open the case and it will automatically pair on both. But if you want to pair them manually to another device, you can press and hold the button for four seconds and it will go into pairing mode. And then you have the ability to pair uh, those devices. And this is basically everything for the case. Let's open it up and check the FreeBuds itself. So here we have the FreeBuds 3, the black design, and we can see how it looks like. It's dirty, of course, uh, how it looks like. And yeah, this is the FreeBud 3. You can see two sensors here. Uh, the one is, uh, I think for the uh, this one here, is the one that is telling you 
if you still have, or telling the system if you still have your free buds in your ear, and the other one is, I think, an opening for bass or for uh, some other frequencies. And you can see the design has this shark fin uh, design, I think it's called. And you can see that the, it's getting a little bit thin here, and this stem is like protruding a bit um, over the bud itself. So it has one line with the bud itself. So this is what you can see on the free buds. Free. We also have an opening here for a microphone, and we have this uh, design that I think is a bit of a failed design idea from Huawei. You can see that there's a hole uh, in this silver ring where there's another microphone, and this design should avoid wind noises, but it didn't really work out because I had yeah horrendous wind noise problems with the free buds free. And we have another magnet or charging thing at the bottom here. There you can see it. And yeah, this is basically everything. There's also an opening here on this side, on the top. Uh, let's check the FreeBuds 4 and see if there's any difference. It's a bit hard, easier to see because it's a black and white kind of design. So we can see here definitely the opening, just like here, for a microphone. It's a little bit of a different opening. We have an opening here at the top, which is a, a different shape. You can see this one is going vertically to the uh, to the stem, and this one is horizontally aligned to the stem. And the stem itself, you can see, this is not on the same level as the uh, as the butt, the earbud itself. It's a bit down, and yeah, you don't get this awkward shape like, that you have here. The shape itself is similar but different. So you can see also it has the two sensors, now one sensor and one uh, uh, opening for base, I think it is. And uh, what do we have else? The bottom has been redesigned. You can see it has like one opening here, also for another microphone, and then what looks like a bit of a button, and another microphone opening here. And uh, I have to say in first testings, the FreeBuds 4, don't have this wind uh, noise issues that the FreeBuds 3 still had. Uh, so they changed the design, which is appreciated in this case. What we can see from the earbud itself, I think there is a slight difference in terms of how it looks like. This looks a little bit higher in height. And uh, we can, when we take a look at the dimension, we can see that this one has 41.4 millimeters height and the FreeBuds 3 free has 41.5 millimeter height. So, in fact, the height of FreeBuds 3 free is bigger. But why do I say that the height is bigger? Because there's a, a definite uh, uh, difference in depth of uh, the uh, FreeBuds, which is 17.8 uh, millimeter on the FreeBuds 3, free, and it is um, 18.5 millimeters on the FreeBuds 4. And this leads to a different kind of ceiling and feature um, when you put it in your ear. It's not only that this uh, FreeBud 4 has a lighter weight, 4.1 instead of 4.5 grams, it's almost undistinguishable. But if you have it in your ear, because also the stem is a bit smaller, you can not on the, on the bottom, if I put them right next to each other, you can see at the bottom, not, but at the top, can see that the design is a little bit different. So the stem is in general longer on the FreeBuds 3 than on the FreeBuds 4, and you can feel it. Even if it's a few millimeters only, you can feel it definitely when you put it in your ears. That the design uh, here is like see, a bit thinner, here's a bit thicker. The design is different. It sticks differently to your ear. So if you have the FreeBuds 3 and they fit nicely, if you get the FreeBuds 4, it might be they don't fit nicely. In my case, I have the feeling that the FreeBuds 4 fit in more nicely. I think the FreeBuds 3, because of the slightly bigger shape, they can seal up my ear a little bit better. But if I start running or something like this, they fall out very quickly. The FreeBuds 4, in comparison to this, they don't fit so snugly, so tightly but they don't fall out if I'm running. So I ran already and uh, with them and didn't have any problems with them falling out. That does not mean that you can also do the same thing. It depends on your ears because this is like fit everything uh, like of kind of format for those earbuds. And of course it cannot fit in every ear perfectly and uh, yeah, be snug uh, to the ear itself. 
So these are the butts and uh, this is the comparison in terms of uh, casing and how the butts look like. And now let's take a look and uh, I want to talk you, to you a little bit about the sound quality and difference between the two earbuds. Let's talk about sound quality. The FreeBuds 3 are always praised for having a very good balanced sound, but if I compare them with the FreeBuds 4, then I hear slight different sound. So the sound signature, signature on the FreeBuds 3 is pretty much very bass heavy, warm, where the bass is also bleeding a little bit into the mid-range, uh, but it has very good highs and treble. On the FreeBuds 4, we have a very clear distinguishing between bass, which is a bit cleaner and a bit louder than on the FreeBuds uh, 3, and the mid. So there's not bleeding into the mids. So the mids are clearly distinguished between yeah, the mids and the bass, and then the highs, which is, I think, a little bit, tiny little bit better than the FreeBuds 3 when it comes to this. So in general, the FreeBuds 4, they sound a bit cleaner than the FreeBuds 3 free in this regard. What changes the sound signature, however, is the ANC, because here the ANC is really automatic and it changes dramatically the sound experience with a lot more bass. And here we have almost no change at all when you enable ANC. So is the sound signature better on the FreeBuds 4? Yes, in general, yes, if you don't have ANC enabled. If you have ANC enabled, then it sounds a little bit more muffled, just like the FreeBuds 3. But in general, they are both very good, but I prefer the FreeBuds 4 in this case. Talking about ANC, the FreeBuds 4 have a new automatic noise cancellation. It was also called automatic noise cancellation, but it was not really automatic because you had a, a round wheel slider where you can choose the frequency to filter out on the FreeBuds 3 noise cancelling. These are the first generation noise cancelling open fit design, so you can excuse this. But the good thing about this was that you could filter out certain frequencies that were annoying to you when you're sitting in a restaurant, for example, and there's annoying humming noise that you want to filter out. You can play with the wheel until the humming noise is gone. With the FreeBuds 4, you have to rely on the automatic. So if the automatic is not filtering it out for you, then you don't have any other option to filter the noise out, the annoying one. So in general, the FreeBuds 4 have better noise cancellation because it's first automatic. And second of all, if it filters out noises, it filters out more effectively than the FreeBuds 3. But the FreeBuds 3 have the ability to filter out noise manually via the slider, which is pretty good, pretty awesome. So maybe Huawei, if you can add the slider as additional noise filtering method, this would be cool for the FreeBuds 4. In general, in terms of noise cancellation, the FreeBuds 4 are better. But don't expect uh, Sony WF-1000 XM3 or XM4 uh, kind of noise cancellation because they are in-ears and not open fit design and open fit always suffers from noise coming in creeping in so this is something for maybe not noise cancellation but noise suppression so if you walk through the streets you don't hear the loud street voice coming in so loud but you still can clearly hear it so this is something if you just riding on a bike or something like this, it might be for safety uh, reasons the better choice to have this open fit instead of the ones that are poking in so much in your ear canal so you don't hear your surroundings at all. So this is why I prefer this for commuting, for going out uh, where you still have a little bit of noise that is uh, coming in even with noise cancellation. In general, noise cancellation on the FreeBuds 4 is more effective than on the FreeBuds 3. In terms of special features, the FreeBuds 3 don't really have some special features. The FreeBuds 4, however, have some special features, just like, for example, the ability to connect to two devices simultaneously. And this works pretty nicely. So I was connected to my Huawei MatePad Pro, that I also will use later for cutting. And uh, a call came in via my Mate 40 Pro that is now recording right now, and it automatically pauses the music there and switches to the audio from the Mate 40 Pro. I can just simply uh, take the call and then co uh, yeah, talk with the people there. So this works pretty fine on the FreeBuds uh, 4, and it doesn't only have the ability to connect 
to two devices simultaneously like the FreeBuds Pro for example have but also has a nice manager for this a nice user interface where you can switch and see all of those uh, various different devices you could you can connect to and you can also have a preferred list or set some devices on the preferred list so we'll prefer them to connect to which is pretty awesome and I wish that many others of those uh, dual connect uh, true wireless ear phones would have such a feature where you can manage the devices it can connect to. There's some other features as well. If you take them out of your case and you try to call someone, there is, because there's a third microphone now, I think that has now three instead of two microphones, which allows you to make HD calls. So there's an HD call option in the settings and it has high frequency 48 kilohertz uh, recording um, capabilities not only for the voice calls or video calls but also for every recording if you did not see it you might click somewhere there or there where i showed you the unboxing and first review of the freebuds 4 and there are some samples also recorded with the freebuds 4 so you can use them as wireless microphones for vlogging for example which is pretty awesome especially with the mode that allows you to choose also to focus on voice and uh, or focus on surroundings depending on your situation which is also pretty awesome and the freebuds 3 don't offer any of this let's talk battery life and uh, it's a bit of disappointment for the FreeBuds 4 because nothing much improved on the FreeBuds 4. We still have two and a half to three hours with noise cancellation on and four hours, four and a half hours, maybe a little bit longer without noise cancellation. And this is the same that we had on the FreeBuds 3 basically, so I don't see much of a big difference here. And it's a bit of disappointing because we have true wireless in-ears and uh, also open fit designs that have way better battery life even if the case allows you to four or five times charge the earbuds still and you have quick charging just like on the FreeBuds 3 I think nothing much changed between them both and it's a bit disappointing for the FreeBuds 4 I would have hoped for better battery life on the FreeBuds 4. So this is basically everything in my comparison FreeBuds 4 against FreeBuds 3 or FreeBuds 3 against FreeBuds 4. So in general, I'm pretty optimistic about the way that uh, Huawei took it. The only downside that I see here is like the wireless charging is gone. Okay, I don't care really, but the battery life is a little bit low. And I would wish them to be a tiny little bit bigger so they will fit in my ears a little bit better. But in general, they are fitting very good for open fit design in, in ears. And um, yeah, I like them, I have to say. I prefer them over the FreeBuds 3, but only because I had the uh, possibility to test both and uh, test those and compare them with those and then I really really like the FreeBuds 4 because of their more open design more open sound which is very good what I don't like so much is the ANC that changes the sound too much I like the ability of it to have like a little equalizer where you have the sound boost option which when you're running outside and the, they don't fit perfectly in your ear it might slip a little bit out of the perfect position you still have good bass because you can bass boost them in this little equalizer and this is a feature that you don't have on the FreeBuds 3 and in general the FreeBuds 3 they were a little bit too clumsy uh, too fiddly if I have them in my ear started running they will fall out really fall out of the ear and drop on the ground I didn't have this problem on the FreeBuds 4 might be my ear only but uh, yeah it is better on the FreeBuds 4 in my opinion so what do you think just write down in the comment section which one is the better earbud which one would you like to buy I would uh, recommend if this is under 100 euros the FreeBuds 3 up still a good buy but otherwise get the FreeBuds 4 150 euros if you have a pre-sale going on 130 euros only it's a uh, steal it's really really good and uh, yeah the sound quality is uh, really awesome for this open fit design you get this really wide sound, sound stage which is pretty awesome in my opinion that's everything for this video you can write down in the comment section what you think of those FreeBuds and which one you would like to get and which features you might want to add and uh, many many other questions about those free buds and uh, other things uh, write them on the comment section like subscribe and that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye